Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna show you how to get 10 medals in less than three minutes. I'm gonna tell you the exact stratagems to make this happen. And this is a bit of a higher level farm for medals rather than XP. But if you are low level, you can take some of the info in this to use it to your best advantage, or just find someone higher level to boost you using this method. Now this farm only requires two players, but with three players running mortars, you can do this in less than three minutes. Now me and my friend did this in duos in about four minutes so with two players it's still very effective and you definitely need at least one partner i have not tried this solo but i imagine it's way more difficult solo to pull off and i will tell you the most efficient stratagems to use and which ones to avoid and the best way to find teammates to do this with as i did run it with randoms after my friends got off for the night so don't forget to like and subscribe i have a primary and support weapon tier list coming out in the next day or two because everyone's only running the breaker but i think there's other really great options that people aren't looking at so don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you want to load up the game and go to one of the automaton defend planets now you have to take advantage of this while the automatons are invading us because with this defend planet mission you can find one mission trio on hell dive difficulty with two of the same eradicate automaton missions now the first mission will give you eight medals and the second one will give you 11 and both of them are the same difficulty meaning you can run this twice and get 19 medals at the end. That's how we get an average of 10 medals per three minutes, but technically nine and a half, basically just because the second mission streak gives you more. And after the second one, I usually reset the map and don't do the third mission as it takes much longer and it's much harder to save the civilians. It's not worth the 14 medals since it's faster and more efficient to reset at that point. Now the stratagems you wanna run are double mortar and two airstrikes. Now it's not actually worth using a rail gun as the rail gun is a single target weapon and we are looking to most efficiently finish this run as fast as possible. Now I use the Eagle airstrike and the rocket pods. Now I would say avoid the cluster bomb because the cluster bomb says it only damages light armor. The Eagle airstrike can actually take down buildings and it damages at least medium armor which most of the robots have. And then I run rocket pods because rocket pods will one shot tanks and you get more charges of these versus a 500 kilogram. You get up to three charges of these if you have all of your Eagle modules unlocked. And it's pretty much that simple. For a primary weapon, you're gonna wanna run either the De Defender SMG or the Breaker. These are the two best weapons for robots in my opinion, at least when it comes to fast clearing. But it really doesn't matter because your stratagems are gonna do most of the work for you. Just make sure you place your mortars at the top of the map like you saw me do. And uh, also what I don't recommend running at all is the auto cannon sentry. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but every time I ran it, for some reason, it kept dying early. Like it would get maybe 10 kills before dying, but for some reason it just kept dying. I don't know if robots were sniping it from across the map or it was somehow shooting itself, but I just decided to run Eagle airstrikes as when I toss these into groups of enemies, I can literally get 10 kills per strike. And same with the rocket pods, it literally one shots tanks and it can also take out a couple enemies or a big hulk or something now if you're not level 20 yet and you don't have access to an ems mortar uh what i would recommend is either running a third airstrike just to take out groups of enemies faster or just run smokes now i use smoke grenades and i chuck them at the mortars and then i have my whole squad run to the other side of the map that way the robots will come and swarm us and they'll leave the mortars alone it doesn't matter if you die it doesn't even matter if you extract at the end you only need to get all the kills to get all the metal if you don't all get to the airship and you run out of lives, it doesn't affect your metal count at all. And last but not least, I tested this with complete randoms. All you need to do to find a team is go to the Helldivers Discord. And if you look in the LFG general chat and you scroll up through here, you will literally see a ton of people saying mortar farm. Let's find one for the video. Looking for game mortar hell dive farm level 29 not hosting there's a ton of these in here let's find another one here we go looking for mortar xp form hell dive there's tons of people looking for this mission right now and i ran this with complete randoms just to prove that you don't need your friends online to do this and like i said as long as you find two other people so as long as you run a trio of mortars you can do this in less than three minutes i didn't even run this with four people with all mortars i would imagine you could get a two and a half minute time i want to actually try to run this with four people and see if we can actually hit two minutes because that would be insane but 
Uh, when I was playing with my two friends earlier, one of them got off, and then there was only two of us for a little bit, and we did this in four minutes, so you really only need a solid duo. And that's it for the video, that's all the information you need. Like I said, please like the video and subscribe. I'm trying to build a new audience on my YouTube channel for Helldivers content. I'll be posting much more tips and tricks in the future, and I do in-depth testing so I can get the best info out there to you guys. And like I said, I have a primary and support weapon tier list coming out soon. I think there's lots of other good primary options to use other than the breaker, but for some reason people think that the breaker is the only primary weapon that you can use. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.